Hey again, yep. And this Jules again, and yep, it's the same day, still wearing the same shirt. Like I said, I was going to be doing more videos today. This one is my review on Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. Uh, I'm trying to think how I can start this review. Um, I gave this book, I believe, four stars. Um, surprisingly, I enjoyed this book um this book was I guess the best words I could say is weird strange and just like all around just kind of creepy too um so it kind of fit in um spookathon because I end up at this end up going over into Spookathon like by a day and a half. Um, I believe I finished it like on Tuesday of last week. So, um, so yeah. And like I said, I did enjoy this. I didn't like some of the parts that were just like, uh, <laughs> just weird and, um, strange. Um, Definitely an interesting book, um, to say the least, and it's the first Chuck Palahniuk book I actually enjoyed, and I've only read two, um, well, the other one I kind of read was Fight Club, I only got 18 pages in, and I just couldn't do it, it just wasn't for me, um, but maybe down the road I'll try again, but not right now. Um, but this is the first book of his that I actually did enjoy, even though it was weird. I mean, weird, weird, triple weird. Um, it's, it's actually about a boy, um, when he's younger, he's in like a cult type of thing and gets raised. It just gets all around strange, um. He ends up growing up and ends up surviving, being one of the ones that survive. And um, he's having to still survive, even though he's now pretty much an adult. Um, so now, if before I continue, if you guys don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you guys. Um, Bye, and go do something, come back to this video another time, so, because I'm about to say more details about how weird this book is. Okay, spoilers, um, this, um, all the boys, like, are pretty much named Tender Branson, or you got a tender Branson and they're in this Cretus death cult and they do a lot of like weird strange and very adult things um and um lot the firstborn boys get to uh, inherit the land and all that but anybody after that any boy after that they end up going into um, training type of thing and end up being sold as slaves into the outside world and doing labor after labor all their life and also um, it's basically a secret cult and you, nobody really knows about it except the families that live in this cult and Tender Branson and his brother Adam Adam's older by like three minutes and he he ends up getting married and all this so not much um is in here about his brother until later on um when he's rung up again about um searching for Tender when he's older when Tender is like an adult before this when Tender is a younger um he's being trained to 
do different things and all that. Um, and if I remember correctly, the other boys ain't allowed to get married or anything. And his brother gets married to a Gleason. Like, they all have different, um, certain type of names. The girls are Gleasons, always a Gleason. And the boys are always, um, tend to Branson when, um, after the first boy is born. First boy gets, um, what I think... Um, gets to be named Adam Branson because I think that that's the main name if I remember correctly that the first boy gets is Adam um, so and they have to they go through a lot of dramatic things that deal with um, adult stuff um, even with um, girls and all that so it gets um, some of the stuff gets very intense and very, um, not just strange, but very, um, hard to, um, read because it's so kind of dramatic. Um, and it's, um, sad because you're reading something that's so dramatic and to think a child went through something like that. Yeah, that's one thing that kind of was hard to read was those parts. When you find out a child had to see stuff, certain things that they shouldn't be seeing at such a young age. So it gets very intense and adulterous in this book, in parts. And when he gets older, he meets a girl named Fertility Hollis, I believe is how I pronounce her name. And she has a gift. Um, she can see the future. Um, so, and she knows what's pretty much going to happen within um, a time frame. Um, he ends up liking her, and she ends up eventually liking him. At first, she kind of um, doesn't, seems like, but you find out later in the book, and something else interesting happens I didn't expect to happen um, with her which was kind of a big surprise um, so yeah I actually enjoyed this even though it was strange weird and creepy all at the same time definitely was a shocker at some points in this book um, if you want to be on the edge of your seat a little bit um, and you're into some creepy book but a lot of strange like a little unsettling things happen you might give this book a try because there is some parts in here that are um, <coughs> unsettling to read because it um, it definitely um, gives you a perspective on um, that character how he's looking at things so I definitely um, made me put um, put it down a few times just to kind of go, whoa, what? <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're into something like that, I definitely would give this book a try. Um, but definitely be um, aware that it is got some parts in that that are very hard to read if you're not comfortable with um, certain things because there's parts in here I was uncomfortable with in reading but I still read it I still enjoyed it and down the road I probably would still reread it again but not anytime soon so but definitely a decent read decent creepy book um, Definitely worth the four stars. The reason I didn't give it that extra, because um, it didn't have a big creepy factor or anything like that. It was just minorly creepy, more strange than anything, and mysterious. But if you like that, definitely go check this out. So, um, 
that is the end of this review for Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. And also, sorry about any beeps that you heard. That was my phone going off for no vacation. Um, but that is it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.